everyone, and welcome to Mark's Triple B Ranch. Today, we're going to smoke and braise some beef short ribs. This is one of our favorite meals. It's the first time I've recorded it on video, so I look forward to sharing it with you. Let's get started. So I was just inside the house, just trying to trim up the beef ribs, get some of the fat and silver skin off of there. Came back outside, just wanted to share with you guys that we'll be using the Weber Smoky Mountain today to cook these. So I'm gonna fire up some charcoal, and then we'll apply the seasoning to the short ribs. I have my short ribs out here, they're all trimmed up. Just gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to them. It'll help the rub it here. I have a mixture of half salt and half coarse ground pepper. Just gonna coat these up nice. Do the top first, and I'll do the sides. All right, these look good. They're ready to go. Just gonna add uh, a little bit of a mixture of hickory and apple wood in here. Smoker is about 210 degrees and it's climbing, so I'm gonna throw the beef ribs on now and we'll let them sit on there for about two hours. After we hit the two hour mark, what I'm gonna do is start to spritz them. I have a mixture of Worcestershire sauce, beef broth, and some red wine. And that will keep them moist, add some flavor. So leave these alone and we'll check back on them in a little while. We are about an hour into the cook right now. I've been keeping a temperature between 225 and 250 degrees. I don't normally lift the lid during a cook. I know some of the barbecue purists out there will, will cringe at the thought of letting all the heat escape, but I just wanted to show you guys where we are after an hour. You can already tell they're starting to get some really nice color. So I'm gonna put the lid back on we will leave this on for about another hour and then we will start spritzing it with that mixture. We're about two hours into the cook right now and what I've got here is a mixture of beef broth, red wine, and Worcestershire sauce. And I'm just gonna spritz the ribs, keep them moist, add a little bit of flavor, and we'll do that about uh, every 20 to 30 minutes or so um, before we start the braise. These bad boys are looking really good. They've got some nice color. Mm. See you in a little bit, buddies. About another half an hour has passed. I just took the temperature of the meat and it's about 155 degrees. Once it hits about 165, that's when we're gonna put it in the braise. But for now, we're just gonna give it another spritz. I just prepped the braising liquid, which is basically some red wine, some beef broth, butter, and more salt and pepper. And I'll end up dumping in the leftovers of the uh, spritz bottle. These have been out for about three hours right now, so I'm gonna just take the uh, temperature inside like the 170 range. Perfect, I wanted to get them above 165 before I put them in the braise. So they're ready to go. I've got the braise out here, we'll drop them in, wrap them up, put them on. Still got some leftover spritz, so I'm just gonna spray this down a little bit on the top, and then I'm just gonna dump the rest of this in. Off camera, I just covered them in foil, sealed them up nice, and we'll let it sit on here for a little while, 
can graze and get really tender and super flavorful. I just came back outside to check on the tenderness of the beef ribs and they're getting there. I feel like they need a little bit more time, but when I probe them, it's definitely going through a lot easier, but I'm gonna check them back in about 20 minutes and I have a feeling they're gonna be ready then. We're gonna just do another probe test here. Feel the tenderness, temperature. I wanna get it to about 200, so I'm almost there. Although it feels like it's might already be ready. I feel pretty tender. These short ribs have been on for a little over five hours now. They were smoking for about two of them, and the last three plus have been in the braise. So I think they're done. Just leave them on there for a couple more minutes. They're at the right temperature. They feel pretty darn tender. So we'll take them off, we'll let them rest. I think what I'm gonna do this time too is Usually I just use the, the juice that's in the pan and I just kind of pour it over the ribs. But I think this time what I'm going to do is just put it into a pot and kind of reduce it down a little bit um, to get a little bit of a thicker sauce. So, see how that comes out. Here it is plated. Looks delicious. Have it sitting on some mashed potatoes. I separated the fat out of the braising liquid, reduced it a little bit, poured it over the top, and cut into it and take a taste test. Here's a look at the inside of it. You can see the nice smoke ring on it. When I cut through it with the knife, it went through very easily. All right, here it is, the moment of truth. That was nice and tender. Good flavor. You can taste the salt and pepper. You can taste that red wine. I like how the reduction worked on it. Instead of it being very uh, soupy, had a little more thickness to it. It was good. You should try it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, please click subscribe. Thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time at the ranch.